everybody, this is Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer, and today I've got a special guest on our show. His name is Dr. Alan Fox, who he just wrote his fourth book, Tennis, Winning the Mental Match. Dr. Fox has earned a PhD in psychology at UCLA. He's a former NCAA champion. He's a Wimbledon quarterfinalist, a three-time member of the U.S. Davis Cup team. He's coached the Pepperdine tennis team to two NCAA finals. He currently consults with tennis players on mental issues and lectures worldwide on sports psychology. What would you have to say to a 16-year-old kid who's melting down? You can see it in his body language. Well, first, in, in, in almost any psychological issue, the, the first step is to understand what's happening. Okay, and, and most kids or adults or whoever, they will repeat a mistake over and over again because they don't really recognize what's happening. So first, they, they, they have to understand the dynamics. They, they, the, the, it's really quite somewhat simple, the, the, the dynamic, and that is all spores are, are basically habit formation and then emotional control. What you're doing in practice, and, and this you would explain, what you're doing in practice is learning habits. When you actually get into competition, you can't think your way through the shot. You can't think your way through shooting the basketball through the hoop or hitting the hitting the home run. Uh, it's it's a reflex based. It's a not a reflex. It's a, it's a habit based on your years of practice in those situations. You see the ball, you swing, and, and you don't think as you do it. You just do it. Let, let's discuss habit formation as the essence of practice. They need to understand that their whole objective in practice is repetitions of the habit that they want uh, to come out in competition. So if you want to hit your backhand well in tennis, just hit 10 million backhands properly in practice. Right. Uh, and, and by the way, practice should be an active process. Not You don't just go out and hit balls. The, the people that get uh, very, very good, as they're hitting, they're... they're brain is working, trying to make the stroke as perfect as they can. So they're, they're adjusting, they're noticing how the, uh, how the stroke is working and so forth so that they can perfect it. And there's always something you can do to make it a little better. And so it, it takes uh, thought. You don't just go out and uh, hit balls. So uh, that and the numbers of repetitions, the more repetitions, the better you get. Uh, like playing the piano. I mean, you play the piece a thousand times and you're better than if you play at 500 and so uh, there's a simple one-to-one -one correlation now when you get into competition then it becomes emotion and letting the habit come out so you can't force these habits to come out you, you you're let's use tennis as an example you see a situation the ball's coming and your opponents over on one side of the court you're gonna hit to the opening or maybe hit behind them you're going to do what your habits uh, uh, lead you to do. It's a quick, instinctive reaction. And so to make the habit come out properly, or as best you can, you have to be in a good emotional state. If you're negative, if you're down, if you're uh, if feeling depressed or dejected because you're behind, the reaction is going to come out poorly. So the way the young player needs to look at it is that it's part of their job as a competitor to set up a, an emotional stage so that the proper habit will come out rather than some uh, habit that's going to cost them the point. And, of course, there's more to both of them. But those are the essence of it. If they understand that, it gives them a fighting chance to correct. If they don't, then they're just going to let nature take its course. So did you like that? We've got a lot more mental game tips and strategies for youth athletes. Get on our training series list by entering your email in the sign-up box at teenmentaltoughness.com. And just to get you started, you'll get my guided visualization, Master the Pressure, and an ebook, How to Be a Great Sports Parent. Go to teenmentaltoughness.com now.